Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Hotze. I've been asked if a woman has had breast cancer, can she take bioidentical hormones? The answer is a yes and no. Chemotherapists, doctors that treat cancer, tell women if they've been free of cancer for five years, then they can indeed uh, take hormone replacement therapy. They usually are talking about synthetic hormone replacement therapy, which we think and and uh, studies have shown can be very dangerous and can cause the development of cancer. The hormone progesterone, the natural hormone progesterone, which balances with a woman's estrogen, has been shown that when in proper amounts, it decreases the risk of breast cancer. Women that have low levels of progesterone, as shown in the 1981 study by the, in the uh, American Journal of Epidemiology in a study reported by the John Hopkins School of Public Health showed that women who had infertility due to low levels of progesterone when studied over a 20-year period, thousands of thousands of uh, women, that those women that had low levels of progesterone had a 540% increase of breast cancer and had a 1,000% increase in mortality of all cancers. So low progesterone levels are consistent with an increased incidence of not only breast cancer but all cancers. So progesterone has a positive effect in helping inhibit and prevent the development of cancer. So rather than worry about how can I treat my cancer after I get it, why don't we try to prevent the cancer to begin with? And the best way to do that is to use progesterone to balance the estrogen. Progesterone falls dramatically as a woman hits midlife. By the time she's usually 35, her progesterone levels are much lower. And this is when she gets the symptoms of estrogen dominance, the breast tenderness, mood swings, fluid retention, weight gain, headaches that, that uh, occur premenstrually. That's an indication of low progesterone. Low progesterone increases the risk of breast cancer. So what we should do is supplement women with progesterone days 15 through 28 as soon as they begin to develop the symptoms of low progesterone and that will help prevent the development of breast cancer and other types of cancer.